Nigerians have continued to react to the attack on the former Deputy Senate President, Ike Ekwiradu, in Nuremberg, Germany. Ekwiradu, who was attending the second annual Igbo Cultural Festival as a speaker and special guest of honor at the event organized by the Ndigbo Germany community, was publicly humiliated and beaten in a video that went viral. The PDP state chairman in Anambra, Ndubu Izinobu condemned the assault saying that the Igbos are known to be a civilized set of individuals and it is a pity for the act to be carried out by those that supposedly reside in a civilized country as Germany. He said Senator Ike Ekber Emadu was one of those who has been at the forefront in the fight for emancipation of the Igbo nation. Others said that the senator faltered in the choice of outfit, that he should have thought it twice before putting on the attire to a sensitive gathering that it may have incited the assault. Spokesman for the customary movement for the indigenous people of Biafra said it is serves as a lesson to the leaders and politicians in the country especially in the southeast. For a while, I thought he was one person from this part of the country who found sufficient courage to stand up for interests relative to Eastern Nigeria. But if I had the means, I would have advised him, particularly regarding his grooming. The honorable former deputy senate president will have taught again before adorning himself with a native attire that was crested with a national symbol knowing that he was going to attend a core Igbo event and then bearing in mind the sensitivity of people who were there gathered. And if he had probably done himself differently, I think that would have gone a long way to ease the tensions that uh, precipitated and uh, resulted in that shameful act. It provoked the, 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 the people. In fact, it's like spitting on their face. It's like saying you are insensitive to what is happening to them. At this point when our people are agitating for self-determination, at this point when our people are saying, even if you can't give us outright independence, why not give us regional autonomy where we can control our life, where we can control our, where we can decide for our future. And I think it is a lesson for our other uh, political class to start reasoning towards the aspiration and the plight of their people.